Good morning. This short video will be covering the social networking aspect of the features of your HomeGage dashboard. Using these features allows your customers to recommend your website or to like your Facebook page or to recommend your website on Google+. There's lots of things that you can use to get exposure to potential clients without actually spending any additional money. So you need to go to your HomeGage dashboard. You can access that through your HomeGage software by going to HG Services and then uh, View Uploaded Reports. Or you can just go to HomeGage.com and log in with your home inspection username and password, your home inspector username and password. When you get to your dashboard, that's where I am right now, you'll see at the top, that's where we are, and you'll see this menu on the left. There's lots of things you can do here. I advise that you go through all these menus. But what we need to do is go to Profile, right down here. When I click on this, it will expand a menu beneath it. Okay. And here's all the options down here. There's lots of things you can do here as well. But today we're talking about social networks. So I'm going to select social networks. So there's a few things that you need to have here in order for this to be useful to you. You can have a Facebook page for your company. You can have your own website. You can have a Google Plus page and then your own website on a Google Plus recommend, LinkedIn, Twitter, if you have a YouTube channel, or Active Rain, which has to do with realtors. I believe that's a, a service you need to pay to belong to that service. So the first thing we see here is Facebook page. And I want to clarify a couple of things about that. In order to have a business Facebook page, you need to have a personal Facebook page. That doesn't mean you have to use it. But in order for you to create a business Facebook page, it has to be linked to an individual's. This is, I suppose, for security reasons to make sure you're a real person. Otherwise, you know, just creating some kind of business account that sets everybody up for all kinds of, of risks, I suppose. So the difference between a Facebook page for a person, like an individual one, and one for a company is the primary difference you would notice if you're on the site would be that people, like individual accounts, we get friends. So I have this many friends on my Facebook page. That's great. But you don't want your business to have friends. You want them to have likes. You want likes on your Facebook page for your business. So you would create your, your customer, your, your individual account for Facebook, and then there's a few steps you take to create a business account, and you would get likes on your business account for Facebook. Once you have that account set up, you would come here and put the URL for your Facebook page for your business here. It would look like this www.facebook.com forward slash whatever the name of your company is and it would go right here. What that means is when your customer logs in to view your report at the top of the page there'll be an option for them to like your Facebook page right from right from their viewed report they don't even have to find you on Facebook. Okay so that's good because when they like something their friends see that they like it and that means that their friends potentially will navigate to your Facebook page and you could potentially get business. The next one is the Facebook recommend. This is for your website. So if you have a website, you would come here and put the domain name or the URL for your website in this field. And what that means is when your customer views the report, there's an option for them to recommend your services through their Facebook page. And when they click on the little recommend icon at the top of the report, it puts your domain name of your website, you do not have to have a Facebook page to do that, on their wall of their Facebook page. That means everyone on their friends list sees it. That could be 10 people. That could be 500 people. That could be 1,000 people that you would never even have any contact with. Facebook is a very, very busy social network. People use it all the time. And getting your website on someone's wall that you know this one person, next thing you know, everyone on their on their friends list sees your website. Okay, that is free 
networking for you. That's free advertising. We all want to know what our friends use. We all ask our friends, who did you use for this? Who do you think I should use? Well, they don't even have to ask this person. The person puts it on their Facebook page, and the next thing you know, you, you, you have access to lots and lots of other people you would not have otherwise had access to. So the next one is for Google+. This is the same thing. In order to have a Google Plus page, you need to have a personal Google Plus page. If you want to have one for your business, you need to have a personal one. And you would create that, and you would come here and put your Google Plus URL for your business in this field. It does the same thing. That way they can um, like your Google Plus page. I suppose it's called like. I don't have a Google Plus page. So they could like your page. And then down here, this is if you if they have their Google Plus page, and they want to recommend your website, you would put your website here. Okay, this is just the same thing as with Facebook, only Google Plus is another social networking site. So down here, there's an option for LinkedIn. This is probably going to give you more access to realtors. So the realtors may find you here. You would go to LinkedIn, you would create a page for yourself. This means you're going to put in your experience and how long. It's like a very elaborate listing of what makes you stand out against your competitors as far as experience. A lot of people come to LinkedIn for career building and to, to network with other people in their industry. Uh, it's my understanding LinkedIn even has some very useful message boards about specific industries like home. There's a whole home inspector, inspector I want to say, thread on there several actually so here you would come in here and put your URL for your business profile anyone who has a LinkedIn account would be able to see it Twitter of course is another very popular social networking site it's different than others not everyone has a Twitter account but you would just put your Twitter ID here and people could could um, link their report or link your company to their Twitter feed and then people will see that they use you. Some inspectors have a YouTube channels. Maybe you have a channel that you like to show people how to do things like change their air filter or um, seasonal maintenance on your home, things you need to consider. This is a really useful tool and you can put that there and to navigate your customers to your YouTube channel. And then Active Rain has to do with realtors. I have to imagine it's along the lines of LinkedIn. You have to have a paid account. I think at one time it was free, but now you have to have a paid account. So basically you'd come in here, you would fill out this entire page with everything you have. If you don't have everything here, well, fill out what you have. If you only have a Facebook page, just fill that one out. If you only have a website, at the very least, do the, fa the website recommend and do the Google Plus recommend. Do those two. OK, and when you're finished, come down here and click Save Changes. And that will allow for your customers to use the tools that show up at the top of their report when they're viewing it from, their, from the HomeGage dashboard in order to um, recommend your company by liking your Facebook page or recommending your website uh, or Google Plus page and your website through Google Plus, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and ActiveRain. Don't ignore this. This is something that's going to take you five minutes to do, five minutes, and the, the access to possible customers is unlimited. If you just even thought for a second that 10 people, which is ridiculously low, 10 people, each person that you do an inspection for has 10 friends, which of course is ridiculously low. If one of those friends notices your service, now what if that person has 100 friends or 200 friends? These are folks that are going to want to use your service because they're friended. So don't skip this. Go to your HomeGage dashboard. Go under Profile on the left-hand side. And then use the Social Networks link to fill this information in and increase your business without one cent extra spent. I hope this helps. Thanks.